Hi, my name is Sumana Shrestha. Um, I was born and brought up in Nepal. I went to United States for my bachelor's. I got my degree in mathematics and economics uh, from Bryn Mawr and Haverford College. Um, and then I worked at Citigroup as a financial analyst, structuring municipal products, um, executing huge amount of swaps in municipal bond transactions. Um, I worked in England for a year uh, for the same group. Um, then I quit my job in 2010 and came back. I worked for Antenna Foundation Nepal. I wanted to do something that had a little bit more meaning to me personally. Uh, and this was it. I went back for my MBA. Um, I got my MBA in 2013 from MIT. Um, so I was planning on going backpacking trip around Europe. Um, I had bought my tickets, everything was booked. I've got loads of SVG points working for Boston Consulting Group. Um, but then the earthquake struck a week before my departure date. Um, so when that happened, I literally cancelled everything. Um, I really wanted to come back, but a lot of my friends, you know, we have a Google group in Sloan, would like blast out a mail saying, oh, I'm going to go do this, what are the suggestions? And a lot of people wrote back saying, do not go. Um, you know, just don't go. You're going to be a drain on resources if there's another earthquake. It made sense to me. So I was working remotely via Facebook, coordinating the relief. I met a lot of my really good friends while I was working um, via Facebook. Um, and then after that, end of May, um, via my company, so my company is strategic partner to World Food Program, I came over um, to Nepal and supported them for about three months. And since then, I've been just doing stuff that, um, that I am passionate about, uh, that makes sense to me, that I think has value. So one of the things have been Carpool Kathmandu. Before I started Carpool, I was literally asking around my friends, there must be something that's, that's going to help people like get free rides. And there wasn't anything. So I started it as a Facebook group. Um, and a lot of people reached out. Uh, amongst them was uh, one of my friend Manish Rashta. We, the way I met him was when I was working from DC, uh, trying to coordinate the relief work. So he reached out and offered to help. And then another person, Anish Shrestha, now who's also an admin, he also reached out saying, oh, hey, I was thinking of doing the same. I was like, great, let's collaborate because this is a community-owned thing. We're here to help. So it does not make sense to break up the community. So three of us, uh, we started that platform. I think how it spread was because it was really a needed thing. That's why I think people came looking for it and discovered it. It got a lot of media coverage from local, at a local level. I think that also really helped. Uh, a couple of really followed bloggers picked it up. That really helped. Um, but I really think it was driven by necessity. That's why it got picked up. Now I'm working on a few other stuff. One stuff that I want to talk about is medication for Nepal. I, today I literally just got off uh, Ministry of Health and attending one of their coordination team and a lot of um, areas to be worked that community can help. Um, so that's something that I'll be working on. Um, it's an online Facebook group similar to Karpul Kathmandu where people ask and offer rights in medication for Nepal. There are two things which is A, you know, if you if you go look at my write up on how to use the platform, it'll give you a better idea. But it's basically there might be some medication, let's say in Tiku, and there might be somebody might be looking for same medication, let's say in Linechor. So he the person writes that up in the platform, and you know there are lots of pharmacists. They respond, trying to help find that medication. Um, that's also a platform for people who are coming from abroad to bring a gift of medication, like, you know, clear up one kg of um, luggage space for people who need um, so that they can get it. Um, so, but I think the scope for medication for Nepal is going to get really big. Uh, the government has asked uh, support in terms of coordination, creating a database structure. So now I'm trying to stand up the volunteer team to execute on that.